Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zestaria with Alexa Vitae Games. On oh, the last episode, we... What did we do? Oh yes! We did the Battle of Tiamat in the Glavand Basin! We fought against a dragon and we took it down and it was amazing and cool! And... Oh my god, it was everything that I could have ever hoped for. Um, and in this episode, we're going to start heading towards Lastenbell. Um... I have nothing else to say, we're just going to head there. I'm really excited to get on with everything in this episode. This part of the game is so great. I think I actually said it back when we were talking to Maven about the Irish Gems. Um, but this is really where the game begins to really ramp up for the finale. Because, um, you know, it does take a bit of a lull for a little while. But then it comes back in full force with this part of the game, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am because it's sure so. Sure, hope this is edible. Saray, look, Alicia and Lucas. I don't expect any better from them at this point. Uh, does Rose have anything new to say? Oh, she does. I didn't expect to see those two together. Me neither. I guess that makes sense, though. Lucas is in Highland's employ, right? Uh, is he? Well, I mean, I, I guess he must be. Let's go talk to them. As a messenger of the Kingdom of Highland, I am here to discuss terms of a truce. I would like to meet with a representative of the Rolands Imperial Army. We honestly wish we could allow you to pass, but Highland and Rolands are still officially at war. This is a decision that has to be made at the top. I'm afraid as mere rank and file, we, uh... Alicia! Lucas! Saray! <laughs> I knew you were alive! You're meeting with Rollins? I hope. It seemed like this might be the last chance for diplomacy. A Highland princess wandering all the way here with no escort? You're a trooper. What do you mean? She's got the best guard in the world. If there's a chance we can stop the war, it's a small price to pay. But we're running into some, uh, jurisdictional issues. Shepard? You're with the Platinum Knights, right? Do you think you could contact Sergei for us? Tell him that Saray's friend, Alicia, has come to visit. If it's a meeting between friends, then the Knights have no need to interfere. <sighs> I'm sorry my subordinates couldn't be more flexible with you. Not their fault. I hear they work under a very rigid captain. <laughs> you caught me there. So you're Alicia. I am Sergei, a friend of Saray. Well met. I'm Alicia. My sincere thanks for helping us the other day. Not at all. Would you like to join me for some tea? Certainly. I'm thankful for this opportunity. We won't let it go to waste. Damn peaceniks. Putting good mercenaries out of jobs. This calls for booze. What do you say, Shepard? Okay, sorry, I'm back. Hi. <laughs> um, my sister just slipped a picture through the door and it's very cute. Um, I might actually put a thing of it up on the screen. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I forgot what just happened. Let's um, let's talk to Rose. Let's get going, guys. Uh, sure. You mean with Alicia, right? Not the booze. Oh no, I mean the booze. We're gonna get friggin' crunk. No. <laughs> oh, I should never say that in my life. Oh god. All right. Okay. Let's uh. All right. What do we need to do? Uh, can we sleep at the end? Cause there might be a skit. I don't know if there will be. But can we? We can sleep at the inn. Let's just get some steak then. Nope, no skits here. Okay. Well, we will just head on then and go to wherever we're supposed to go to. I think it's a sanctuary? Uh, go to the sanctuary to, to check on Alicia and Sergey. Okay. I can't even speak today. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, let's just head up towards the sanctuary then. Um... Oh, it looks like there's some people outside already. Uh, oh, and Lucas is over there. Okay, we can't talk to these people, but what's Lucas got to say? Ha can I talk to you, please? 
Princess Lady and Mr. Knight are inside the sanctuary. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not drunk. <laughs> He's drunk. He's so drunk. I can't do drunk voice. All right, that should do it for now. Yes, thank you for all your help. Ah, it's over already? The first meet and greet. I've received an invitation to Pendrago Castle. By yourself? In exchange, His Imperial Majesty of Rolands will allow me to meet for direct negotiations. Not bad for a bottom-rung princess, huh? We are comrades who battled the dragon together. The Empire will have the decency to acknowledge that. Neat. Guess the peace talks are in good hands. And here I thought the war would be dragging on and on. Oh no, that was a pretty good one! I'm jealous! Is it a competition? Saray, would you be interested in coming to Pendrago with us? You're a key figure in bringing our two nations together. Thanks. But that's a dream that you should be the one to fulfill. I suppose. Best to you on your journey. You too, Alicia. Sergei. Not to mention our plastered buddy out there. Oh, it's great to see things are going well with the negotiations. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, Ro blah, blah. I almost called you Rose. I'm so sorry, Alicia. I'll do everything I can to achieve our shared dream. Yes, please. I'm counting on you. Don't worry. I will be working with Princess Alicia from here on out. We'll pl we pledge to see this through. Thank you, Sergei. He is so responsible. They're both great. We're supposed to leave last in Babel. Let's talk to Rose first. I feel like a great weight is off my shoulders. <laughs> you want me to rub those shoulders of yours and lighten them some more? A thousand gall for ten minutes, my best price. Uh, I think we'll pass on that, just because um, that's kind of expensive. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh, it's already sunset. Hey, Lucas, how are you doing? with your? That's a lot of alcohol. Hey, Saray! Happy beer is best beer! Whoa! <laughs> I can't do a drunk voice, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's um grab this kit here at the save point. A stone cold no. Boy, he didn't waste any time turning her down. Right there in front of him, the perfect date! No wonder girls don't dig shepherds. Well, what can you do? Yes, we're talking about Saray after all. Seriously? <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> I don't know if the shepherd digs girls, never mind the girls digging the shepherds. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know, I feel like Alicia and Suri are too similar. Um, I mean, they'd maybe work as a couple because of the similarities, but at the same time, I, I don't think they would. But then again, it's, it's up for interpretation. Whoever can, you know, different people can interpret what they like. I don't know, I'm gonna go and see the star. I hear they're actually making progress with the peace talks. That Princess Alicia is a godsend. She sure is. If only a certain layabout would follow her example. My doggy's happy too. She hates war. You and me both, puppy. You and me both. Hey, bud. You up for a drink? Anything to get out of this armor. Hmm. <laughs> Our departure can wait a day. Huh? But... Ah, oh, so sleepy all of a sudden. Oh, my back. I gotta lie down. Get us a nice room. Come on. Thanks, Lila, for hanging out with me. Don't mention it. I was thinking of coming up here and watching the city anyway. 
So this is where Saray's guidance has led us. Indeed. I'm sure he is doing much the same, watching them and thinking about how far we've come. Edna and Zavid too. After our long journey with the Shepherd, I imagine they're using this time to reflect on their past and, perhaps, their future. <laughs> Kinda like us, huh? Well, well. Edna coming to see me? Should I be scanning the skies for pigs? I want you to tell me, why were you killing Hellions? <laughs> Where'd this come from? And why now? Is it to save them? Did you make up your mind that it's something you have to do in order to save them? Like Saray did? Oh, I get it. You still haven't quite wrapped your head around the idea of death as a form of salvation. And so every time you put it into words, it's been to convince yourself. Edna is a smart woman. I imagine right now she's busy sorting out her feelings before we face our final battle. No doubt she's consulting Zavid for guidance. He's seen more of the world than any of us, the good and the bad. You're really a good study of people. You should have been a school teacher. <laughs> But Rose, you had something you wanted to ask me, didn't you? <sighs> when the dragon appeared, Saray found his answer right then and there, didn't he? It was that he didn't want that battlefield to see any further killing or bloodshed. Yes. And then he immediately took the actions he deemed necessary in order to achieve that. Time flows differently for people with a vision, or so it seems to the rest of us sometimes. He's incredible. Wow, look at all those stars. Yeah. I forget who said it, that there are as many emotions as stars in the sky. I can totally see that. A metaphor for how each emotion sparkles in its own way, huh? Must have been a romantic who came up with that one. But you can also sense his insecurities about that, can't you, Rose? Like he's constantly on edge, worrying that if he let his guard down even a little bit, he'd lose his way again. I think Saray himself might be the only one who doesn't see that. I mean, you know how little it takes for a taut string to go snap, right? Are you worried? Mm, not worried, really. Whatever happens, whatever the future brings, I hope I can make it work somehow. No, I know I can. <laughs> so that's your answer. I guess so. But I've always been like this ever since I was a kid. I'm starting to understand why you don't generate any malevolence. So I want everyone not to worry and to just go do what they need to do. Pow! But I don't mean like, see ya, have fun, I'll be over here. I promise I'm with the rest of you guys for the long haul. <laughs> Don't you think it would be better to tell that to everyone, not just me? After all, I'm sure Edna and Zavid would take no small amount of inspiration from it. Huh, I don't know, it'd be weird to walk up to them and be like, I am here, we are friends. Probably true. Sheesh, you women folks sure are complicated. But then, that's part of the appeal. Uh, are you just stupid? Yep, big old stupid Ed. The type who can't do anything but believe in the one way he's found to get stuff done. 
What makes you believe in it? I just have a need to protect the pride of my friends and fellow Seraphim. No one becomes a Hellion because they want to. But when you turn into one, you know what that means, right? So that's why I end it for them. For the sake of their pride. <laughs> and you think that saves them? Who knows? That's something they get to ponder after death, in their own personal afterlife. Huh. How gallant of you. So that must be what makes you so... Attractive? <laughs> Ow! Hey! Knock it off! Don't you all have one more thing you need to brace yourselves for? It'll depend on what Saray does with Mautelis after we take down Heldoth. But you know what? That's alright. I'm prepared. No matter what he decides, I'm willing to accept it. Gotta say, I think your resolve wins out over mine. I don't even know if I could do that. Just look on silently while one of our own suffers in agony. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're all in this together till the very end. <laughs> so, if Zavid's quivering in fear, you'll be there to give him a gentle hug, right? Gross. <laughs> well, if my saying something is enough to cheer those two up, it might be worth it after all. It's enough to have someone to lend you a kind word. After all, that's what friends and comrades are for. But Rose, if you don't mind, may I ask what prompted you to bring all this up? thought you and I might have sort of been thinking about stuff along the same lines. I just wanted to tell you, you don't have to carry it all by yourself. <sighs> huh? What? Did I say something funny? <sighs> huh? <gasps> the two of us really are more alike than we realize. We commit to things. We decide on what role we're gonna play without really consulting with anyone else. Oh, now that you mention it... So that's why I felt like we might be sharing the same thoughts. We are the same, independent women. <laughs> Rose, I must thank you. I feel like a great load has been taken off my mind. Really? Hey, cool beans! <laughs> I'm profoundly grateful to whatever twist of fate brought us together. You really are a drama queen, Lila. Aw, oh, Rose! <laughs> Alright, come on. We got some friends to go cheer up. <laughs> There's something I learned from this journey. Some stars you can't see, and because you can't see them, you think they're not shining. But they are. It turned out that there were a lot of stars that we couldn't see from our home in Elysia. Once people notice the stars, they start to understand just how brilliantly they shine. Just like how Alicia finally got a sense of what Seraphim were truly like the first time she heard your voices. <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> I was really excited back then. It gave me hope that one day other humans might be able to talk to the Seraphim. But even then, you had to cut off your senses and hold your... Oh, I see. 
We were actually contemplating what you'll do after the last battle. Yeah. If I let myself become a vessel for Mautelis and shut off all my senses, we might be able to spread that power throughout the entire continent of Glenwood. If it works, and that's a big if, the Squire ought to be able to wield power like mine, even if she doesn't possess natural ability on par with a shepherd. So long as you entrusted all of your senses to the Squire, it's not out of the question. And we might be able to grow the ranks of Squires who could help us. Just think of Alicia. It's arguably a more constructive approach than just waiting for another shepherd to appear. Exactly. But you understand the implications, don't you? Yeah. Until the Squires can quell enough of the Earth's malevolence to let Mautelis' natural purification take over, I would need to wait and sleep. By bonding with Maltellus, you'll be abandoned in time. It could take years. It could take centuries. And even if humans appear who can see and talk to Seraphim, there's no guarantee they'll choose the path of coexistence. I believe in them. What about your dream? Weren't you going to go off exploring ruins around the world? My dream will live on, so long as I don't forget. Very well. Thank you, Miklio. <clears throat> You're like prototypically stupid. It's not so much that guys are stupid. It's just that the ladies are too smart. What's that, your philosophy? Huh. Looks like the gang's all here. I suppose you were all listening to us then? Yes. Not be Edna, but you really are totally stupid. stupid. <laughs> Let's head out. Huh? We're not waiting till morning? No farewells to Alicia or anyone? I'd like to set out under these stars tonight. So that every time I gaze up at the night sky, I can remember this very day. Guess we've got our own romantic right here. You think so? So what's up? Are we going? Yeah. To the last battle. Yeah. All right then. No doubts, no regrets. Let's go! So there we have it. That that's Ceri's answer. Um Oh my gosh, that scene Um very long scene. <laughs> um very beautiful scene. That music just kills me every time. Um and all of what everyone says as well, oh it's just this beautiful emotional climax where you could just feel everyone has grown so much and has finally found their resolve and now it's time for everyone to finally go and face this final battle um, and even our objective is now to head to Alicia in search of Camlan. You can tell we're almost at the end of the game and it's so bittersweet and then Saray's answer as well. Oh, it kills me every time because um. The first time I did it, I obviously understood. The first time I played it, I obviously understood what was happening. But it hits you so much harder when you go through it again and again and again, and you 
remember more of the implications of that. The fact that Sari will be asleep for centuries, maybe. And Mikleo's gonna be alone. For the first time in his life. And it's so painful and beautiful. And then, obviously, with Edna and Zavid, their conversation as well about eyes and... Oh god, it kills me so much. And then I love the conversation between Rose and Lila as well, because um, I love their relationship. They're so much fun. And um, those parts were quite uplifting. Um, even when the other parts were like... They're, they're uplifting, sure, and hopeful, but at the same time it was like, wow, this is quite depressing, because, you know, you have to... Well... We don't have an answer for Aizen yet. Um, Saray's answer is so sad. <laughs> but at least Rose and Lila both have their resolve as well. Um, and oh, I just... That was loud. <laughs> I just love this game. I love that scene. Oh, God, the Journey's End scene it is so beautiful. Um... I've talked about it so much in, an in analysis videos that I'm not sure what else I can say about it. Um, so I will leave it at that for now. Let's talk to Rose. Oh wow, we've actually got all these things now. First we need to head to Elysia. Right, from there, there ought to be some path to Camelon, where Matelis and Heldolf are. Yep, there hopefully would be, <laughs> or else we have no lead. Still no word on the bandit kids? Actually, there was a signal from Roche. Looks like he's uncovered something significant. He's over in Highland. Want to go intercept him? If he's where I think he is, I bet we'll bump into him near Falkland Hillside. Okay, yeah, sounds like a good plan. Uh, so, where to look for this cat's corner? Well, it's called Cat's Corner, right? Let's just find a kitty cat and ask it to show us the way. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have no help. I was gonna say, is that actually gonna work? We just don't know. Um... There sure are a lot of tough hellions out there. Yeah, and humans can't even see them, so information's super hard to come by. I'd imagine Seraphim would be the best source, but I think... I think there were some gathered on the Great Camelot Bridge, but... You interested? Uh, duh, of course we are. Uh, do you think it was okay to bury Maven at Logren? I think it's just perfect. The guy used to visit Logren all the time. I'm sure that's where his closest friends were. I bet if we talk to the people of Logren, they could give us a new perspective on the old man. What do you think? Yeah, we'll have to head over there at some point as well. But for now, actually, we're not allowed to go back into Last of Belt. We should head for Elysia. And that's it? Yeah? Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to save point travel either. We do have a skit here, but I'll have that in a second. Um, we can save point travel, but not to anywhere in Roland's. We can only go to, like, Lake Haven Heights and things, which is annoying. <laughs> but yeah, let's get this skit anyway. It's the road to Camelon. You're not worried about Alicia and the others? Not at all. Sergey and Lucas are with her. Our next destination is Alicia. Yeah, there should be a passage that leads to Camelon where Maltellus is waiting. What are we going to tell Gramps? Let's just not tell him. <sighs> Saray, there's no need. It's not like we'll never see him again. You're right. Let's do this. Oh man, they have so much resolve. Oh gosh. Okay, we're actually going to head towards um, Alicia, but we're going to head through Glavid Basin because that's opened up again. Um, and like, we'll have all new enemies there. Well, I mean, it'll be the same ones that we found when we were running towards the dragon. Um, but they're still new. And we'll actually be able to go and do the... Oh wait, can I not do that yet? Oh, I can't do it yet. Damn it. I was going to do the Medusa quest, but I forgot that on this save file I've not done the Pendrago part, so I can't actually do the Fortin Sisters quest yet. Darn it. That's annoying. Oh well, we can head through there anyway. I think there is an EX dungeon, or not EX dungeon, an extra dungeon, and we can just head through there, um, because I don't think it's that far away and it should be a quick trip through the ruins and I can cut out some stuff. It'll be fine. Um, and it'll be a nice wind down from all of the drama and tension and heartache. Um, ah, yes. I forgot to say, but um, the music's changed. <laughs> um, if you can already tell, this is the music that played during the battle with Tiamat the dragon. Um, this is actually Rising Up. It's one of the best songs 
in the entire disc. It's so good. In the entire disc. In the entire OST. It's so good. Um, there it is. Oh god, I love it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and restrain myself from singing along. It's very catchy. Um, oh, it's just such a good song. Air, right, what way are we going? Right, if we go down south, this way. Oh, listen to that, that's so good! I feel like they made such a good choice in making this the background music for Glamour Basin after the dragon fight because, you know, before it was all uh, melancholy and that's a mutant hell that we're not going to fight yet. Um, it was so melancholy and heartbreaking before, but now it makes you feel so pumped and like you can fight anything and you're totally going to win and that totally works for this part of the game and I left that in the chest and I meant to discard it. Oh well, if you catch up with me, I swear to god, you stupid lizard. <laughs> I think, yeah, we have full health, which is good. Uh, okay, I'm not changing my party just yet, because uh, I don't see any point in it. Okay, oh, save point, hello. I'm going to just bump this mine, okay. Right, hi, are you still following me? Can you, like, go away, thanks? There we go. There's actually a discovery point right here. It's the horse's return to nature, which comes with the skit, Strays on the Battlefield. That's odd. This area isn't supposed to have any wild horses. It's not? Yeah. The sparrow feathers pass through here all the time, but I've never seen any before. Couldn't they be former war horses? Oh, there you go. That explains it. They must have gotten separated. Stupid armies, clean up after yourselves at least. I wonder which country's horses they are. Who knows? might be both. Making their peace as fellow strays? Would that surprise you? It's not like the horses have any reason to fight. Just like people, horses too run from the terrors of war. Technically, they gallop. Are they... are they okay to live like that? Why not? The malevolence of the battlefield is long gone. The main danger is past. The main danger, you mean? No. No, I do not. <laughs> of course Lila was gonna turn that into a pun. Of course she was. Um, yeah, no, it's interesting to see the fate of the horses of the battlefield. Anyway, so this is the remains of Melchior? Was that it? Hold on, I can look at my map. Where are we? Yes, the remains of Melchior. Melchior? Melchior. It's a, it's a, it's a ruin. It's a DX ruin. Um, it's a blob ruin, so it's just blobs. Um, the, I think the pink ones are the ones we've not fit, fought yet, so let's fight them. Is that your sword style? Pretty cool. Well, I had a lot of practice with Miklia. I think those are new, but we didn't actually get any information for them, which is strange. Oh, okay. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, we got away with it. Thank God. Away from it is what I meant to say there. Um, that is a, a slime. There's so many slimes. I mean, it is a slime ruin, a blob ruin. But, yeah, there's so many of them. Uh, 6,800 gold to add to my... Now 67,000 gold! That, that's more than I had before. Right, uh... Right, let's go over this way first. I feel like... Uh, no... Every time I go through here I expect there should be like a trap or something, but they don't even have those in this game, so I don't know why I expect that. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> There's not even anything over here, what's the point? Ugh. Just to lull me into fighting against a slime that I can beat in like three hits. <laughs> oh goodness. But yeah, no, I like this um, optional rune for for grinding more than anything because all the slimes drop women's armor, I believe, um, or at least the pink ones do. So they're very useful to fight against if you're trying to. Hold on, I can go these ways. If you're trying to grind for armor for the girls, then. This is the, this is the place to be. Right, hi chests. Hyper velocity, bleh. hyper velocity boots and seven thousand gold. They're giving us so much gold. They're like, yeah, no, you need to fuse your equipment. So here's all this gold, which is nice of them, because I do need it. That was two blue slimes together. That was kind of creepy. I wonder if Rose thinks that the slimes are creepy. Maybe not, because they're not like ghosties. They're just slimes. Topaz boots. Blob ring. Ah yes, of course we're gonna get a blob ring in the blob ruins. 
There's so many blobs. I'm not fighting the blobs. Ah! Well, I'll have to fight them again at some point so that I can get the information on them, but not right now. <laughs> we can go down here. Um, I think this is just a treasure room, so let's quickly go down here. In fact, it is just a treasure room. I remember this. Because um, there's a specific... Ah, uh, there's a specific thing. Uh, a method of grinding for equipment? No, not equipment, sorry. For for grade, for your Lords of the Land. And it involves lots of drop bottles and lots of treasure chests that are, that are actually mimics that drop a lot of gold. And you just use all of your drop bottles on the treasure chests. And you get a whole bunch of gold at the end of it. And then you buy a whole bunch of stuff and give it to the Lord of the Land and you're done. You have loads of grade. You level up your Lord of the Land. Um, on my other playthrough I have I, <sighs> I have an encounter with a slime root. Here's the information for the slime root. Ugh, I hate slimes. All liquidy. And I'm not talking the viscosity. Liquid in general is gross. Why do you think I carry an umbrella? It looks like a blob of jelly, but it can harden and sharpen itself for a spin attack. So watch out. You don't know humility until you've been clipped by slime. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. I didn't actually look at the information for the mud slime in the Earth Shrine, so we have Dazzle back again for this one. A slime made of mud. Not too frightening alone, but they can be trouble when they gang up on you. Get your area effect arts ready. <laughs> Remember throwing mud balls at everyone as a kid? Was that just me? Anyway, armatization is one way to take them all out, but know that they've got high art defense. We'll be fine, thanks, Rose. Pretty smooth swordplay there, Rose. They don't call me boss for nothing. Or you made boss because you use Mystic Hearts all the time. <laughs> is that the reason why you're the boss of the Scattered Bones slash Sparrow Feathers? If so, they, they don't need much, do they? Like, hey, do you use Mystic Hearts a lot? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, then you can be our boss. That's it. That, that's exactly why. Oh, hello. Discovery point. It's the Merchant's Abandoned Wares, which come with the skit in the Hellion's Lair. Well, that's... unpleasant. Quite. Did someone forget something here? Oh, uh... how should I... Saray, look around you. What do you see? Um, well, it looks like a slime Hellion Lair, so... Oh! Yep. The owner of this junk got gobbled up. But why do they leave this stuff untouched? Picky eaters, no doubt. You joke, but there may be some truth to it. Slime Hellions are a massive ego and greed, after all. <sighs> no time to mourn the departed. Don't forget, we're also here in their lair. You don't want to blink and find yourself staring at the inside of a slime stomach. You're right. I'll be careful. I bet you'd make an attractive morsel, Zavid. The slimes would barely have anything to spit out. I get that a lot. Zavid, you're only an egg or two away from being a delicious omelette. <laughs> Alright, Zavid, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's let's not get eaten by slimes. That wouldn't be comfortable at all. Um, and there are a lot of slimes here, so there's a lot of opportunities for us to get eaten by slimes. And again, it's not a good idea. You know, the fact that we can doesn't make it a good idea. <laughs> Alright, hi, what's in here? I think it's a treasure chest. Probably. Yeah, there's two! Nice! Also some slimes, obviously, because there's slimes everywhere. When are there not slimes? And grape gels and more slimes. Seriously, slimes everywhere. They're kind of- they're easy to defeat at the very least, but... Eh. And they're also slow, so I don't even need to fight them. <laughs> Because they're not- they're, they're not gonna catch me. They're too slow. Stupid slime things. Okay, let's head back upstairs. Right, we need to go to the other side. Okay. I'm glad I went that way then, because I went the correct way for not going the right way. If that makes sense. Yeah. I feel like I kind of know this ruin though, because I think I did grind here for a while in my last playthrough to try and get equipment. Why are there nothing in these alcoves? Ugh. What was the point? We just don't know. 
Alright, hi. I am going to go up these... down these stairs. It'll be downstairs. Because all of these stairs are downstairs. It's a ruin! What do you expect? Oh, man. Yeah, I mean... Eh. It's another EX ruin. What can I even say? I've talked about EX ruins before. I don't know. At least they're good places to grind. Um, and to get equipment and things. Um, so even if they're not all that interesting in appearance, eh, they have their uses. Oh, a strawberry waffle! That sounds amazing. Oh, man. Seriously, every time. Every time I see food. I... Yeah. You know how this goes. I've talked about this a gajillion times. Because <laughs> I never have anything other to talk about than food. Oh, red chamomile, nice. Uh, right, if we go... Ha. Huh. Okay. Err... Uh, I do not know where we've been. Have we been here? I can't remember. Is this the way we came? This goes up. Oh no, this is the part we couldn't get to before. Okay. Ah! Okay, no thank you, no thank you. Oh, chest! I almost missed this chest. Platonic great, nice. Please tell me there's a Norman around this corner. Oh yeah! Aqua! Aqua! I've been waiting for you! Oh god, what can I put it on a Mikleo? Okay, um... Right, what is he wearing? Right, hold on, he'll probably be wearing the one that's up here and he probably won't actually be able to get it on there will he? No, okay. Um, how about a circlet? I don't think I can get it on a circlet either. Uh, nope, okay. I don't know what armour he's wearing either. It should be up at the top though. Uh, nope. Nope. And, oh, I could put them on his hyper velocity boots. Oh, nice! Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, thank you, Aqua. Oh, finally, I can finally do my fusion from it clear properly. Um, because I was trying to get this um, E Union 9, and now I can start stacking my Aqua. Um, that's all I needed in my life. Oh my god, I cannot wait to do some more Mikleo Fusion later on. <laughs> okay, let's head this way. We'll go back downstairs, then we'll go the right way, and then I think it's just a boss room after that. Um, and then we'll be done in these ruins. And I think this is the last extra ruin in the game, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, except for like obviously the EX dungeon, which you can only get after you defeat the final boss, which I will be doing. Um, I'll give you more information on that later on when the time comes. Um, but yeah, I will do the EX dungeon, so don't worry about that. Um, if you're interested in seeing it anyway, because some people might not be, <laughs> which is fair enough. Because uh, it is just the EX dungeon, although it's very interesting, um, especially if you have played or want to play Berseria. That's all I'll say. Uh, right, down here is the boss room. Hi there, boss slime, let's not fight you. Uh, right, there's nothing in there, is there? Nope, okay. There's treasure in that top room, and I think there might be something in this room. Yes, there's a treasure in this room as well, it's just one box. I think it might be a gold box? Yes! I've been here way too often. A mo- monocle, 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 monocle! Where is it? Where is it? There it is! You need finely chiselled features to sell this one. But then you look like a bad guy. Um. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really work on Saray, I don't think. Uh, but let's let's use the finely chiselled features of good old Zavidi. I almost called him Dezel. Um, yeah, there he is. That that's a Zavidi with a monocle. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he can look like a bad guy with a monocle. I'm, I'm not even kidding. He can. <laughs> right, let's head and get the treasure from the top. Um, oh, this is a water door. Actually, pressing the right keys today. I'm, I'm doing better than usual. Right, gold chest. Hi. Oh, if I remember correctly, this has like black stuff or something in it. Gooey stuff. There we go. 
Oh god. <laughs> What's the point in that? It's like, yes, a gold chest! I've been waiting for this for my entire life! And then the friggin' normal chests, or bronze chests, have so much more in them. It's crazy. Anyway, we've finally gotten to the end of the slime ruins. Um, so I'm gonna head up to the safe point. And we can safe point travel out of here. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to save point travel to... Huh. Let's save point travel to Glavened Basin. No, let's go to Falkwood Hillside in front of Marland. Um, yes. Okay! Oh, we have a subplot there. Anyway, that's, uh... That's going to be it for today. So, thank you all very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think of everything that happened here today, including the last of Bell scene. I'm so looking forward to seeing your opinions and things on that part, especially because it's one of my favourite scenes in the game, just like the team map battle from last battle, from last battle, from last episode. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your opinions on the things that have happened. Um, I know that the end of this episode may, was maybe a bit anticlimactic with the whole slime ruin thing. We will be going on with the main story in the next episode. Um, because the side quests that we have, some of them we can't do because we can't go back to Roland's. And then the ones that are in Highland, for the most part, we either can't do or I don't think we're at the level where we can do them properly yet. So, we'll be going on with the main story in the next episode, but for now I'd like to thank you very much once more for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time.